Hey, hey! I don't know about you, but I've had so much fun and inspiration in our time together in these past few months, experiencing and witnessing your transformations. Not just aesthetically with your appearance, but from the inside. The mindset shifting, your identity, your subconscious reprogramming, that is sustainable change. Or as we say, expansion, right? There's a catch to this though. There's still a few of us that get this far into the program and they feel they haven't made as much progress as some other promise keepers. They feel like they haven't had or experienced that breakthrough moment yet, whether it's internally or externally. Today, I'm gonna to share with you the one reason you're likely feeling stuck and aren't sustaining progress towards your big goals, especially when you're saying, but I'm doing it all. It's called the zero effect. Here's where people get set back. And this is where the 90 day accountability sprint is so powerful and impactful for those feeling stuck or they're struggling. Please let me explain. One of the characteristics that gets overlooked most every time, which is not from a lack of conversation in our environment is consistency. You heard that right. Consistency. We must be consistent every day in honoring ourselves with our personal integrity. Why it's important to be consistent every day is because your body has cellular memory. And let's say this line represents your cellular memory. And of course you have old habits, those that aren't serving you and you're striving for the creation of new, improved, expanded habits. And this includes anything from gratitude to kindness, service of yourself and others, happiness, personal growth, personal development, whatever it is, every day this consistency contributes to your cellular memory. Then once it gets into your cellular memory, you start building and strengthening your subconscious. That's your subconscious. And then once it becomes unconscious, there are neural pathways that begin to get formed. So the neural pathways are that third layer. And these neural pathways in your brain makes the process of establishing your new habits even more effective and efficient and brings more awareness and attention to those specific consistencies just by simply doing something every day for a duration of time. Now, if you don't do something every day consistently, something happens or it doesn't happen because the power of intention is an accelerator of exponential results. Listen to that again. The power of intention is an accelerator of exponential results and growth. Meaning let's take gratitude. As I mentioned earlier, We've been talking about gratitude for the last week plus in the patterns of focus. So it should be a really simple transition. If I choose to be grateful and I do it all for the first day, it becomes X to the first power. I am grateful to the first power in that consistency. Then the second day I'm grateful to the second power. I have momentum. I do it for the third day. I have X to the third power in gratitude and so on. But here's what's fun and here's how I like to spin it. I do this consistently. Now I go out and I go get wasted. I go out all night, all weekend drinking and I become the biggest narcissistic, egotistical maniac that cares about nobody else but myself. Now what happens is we go from here to X to the zero power. We get wiped out. It starts from the beginning. We start over my subconscious resets. And by the way, I use subconscious and unconscious interchangeably. They're really the same thing, but there is no difference with our commitments to moving our body daily or committing to our personal power promises, whether they're spoken or silent. Think about this. 
your integrity to your daily, let's say, hydration goals or waking up when you say you're going to wake up or your daily meditation, your commitment to positive thoughts or routines or rituals, whatever it is that you've made a real commitment to, here's what happens. You sit there at the end of the month and you say, wow, I did this all month. I've been engaged with this incredible Promise Keeper community and I've been, I'm just waiting to harvest the fruits that are on my tree. So then you pluck these fruits off the tree and you sort of stare at them and you look at them and you're sort of confused. And this is how the human mind works, by the way. Then you're like, well, why am I not getting the results that Gail and Amy, Jackie, Deborah, Margaret, Sharon, I mean, so many of you, I'm not getting the same results they're getting. Well, it's because you zeroed out three nights out of the month. And that's for my example of my gratitude example. Or your scoreboard. Your scoreboard has all these holes in it. Here's what I know. That they're getting after it to the 31st power within a given month. Heck, we've been witnessing X to the 300th power plus. Now ask yourself, where are you in the power of daily consistency? Within the current 90 day sprint, are you X to the 75th power where you haven't missed one day? Perhaps you've had some minor setbacks along the way and you haven't had a current winning streak until recently and you've positioned yourself to be at X to the 10th power, 20th power, 40th power. Maybe this past weekend, You came up with a reason not to get your obligation done. You zeroed out. Now, don't get down on yourself. My intention is to bring awareness and to expand you. You produce more effort than you ever have thought you could to get to the, we'll call it 99%. There's no question that you've become an expanded version of yourself already. Though you're still a 99%er, You just don't realize how the body, the mind, and frequency works. And the easiest place for us to see this and experience this is with exercise nutrition, right? That's the easiest place to see the power in the law of intention and zeroing out. For me, I'm living proof. And I'm not saying I'm any better or any worse than anybody. I'm just saying I move my body X to the 31st power on any given month. I mean, it contingent on how many days are in the month, but I'm not going to the gym every day. I simply commit to moving my body every single day, forcing my subconscious to reprogram itself through repetition. And that's how I coach my clients. They need to do something physical every day to some degree. And when they, or I even, zero out, they feel it. I know because I feel it. That extra 10 to 15 pounds that you can't release, somewhere, think about it, you zeroed out. Yes, even one, two, or three days in the month of not committing to your nutrition or your exercise prevents the connection and rewiring of your new habits. See, there's a disconnect. The scoreboard reflects it. It's the law of intention going to work. What you do every day matters more than what you do every so, say with me, often. This is huge for people to understand. I meet people all the time that tell me, Steve, I'm doing it all. I'm like, no, you're not. You're missing the 1%. The 1% zeroes you back out. This zeroes you back out. It's the zero effect. That's what it is. And allow me to mention the reason why the transformation equation is so important. Imagine if you being every day was in alignment to this equation. (laughs) Our responsibility plus C squared commitment and consistency plus T time is greater than S success. All forms of being responsible, committed, consistent with the accelerator of time. 
exponential results greater than success. How would that further transform your life? Think about this equation and how it could make an impact. Our time together isn't about over-promising ourselves with more to-dos. It's about micro-commitments done consistently over time, responsibly avoiding you zeroing out until it becomes automatic. Automatic in your mind, your consciousness, and your subconsciousness. If it's not sustainable, it's not successful. It doesn't matter what I teach you if I can't coach you to be consistent. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that we're coming to the close of our 90 day sprint here within the next two weeks in our Promise Keeper community. And I'm so proud of you, accountability buddies, for all that you've accomplished and who you've become. For most of you, it's just the beginning. There's so much more to learn and obtain in our environment that we've all cultivated. I encourage you, if you're open to further expansion, continue participating, continue showing up, continue developing, continue transforming yourself from the inside out. There's a PKC continuum that's been created to continue the process on a month to month basis, of course, as long as promise me that you proceed to get value in our time together. Even hearing the same information and methodologies over and over, you're going to elicit more growth because you're at a new level, another level, the next stage of accepting it and absorbing more, even if you've already heard it a hundred times over. So take today, this week, and take an honest reflection to where you're zeroing out in your commitments. Are your commitments non-negotiable? Are your reasons strong enough? Hmm, great questions. What are you committed to and who do you need to be in order to make it happen? How can you benefit the most from the zero effect? That's what I'd love to know. Where are you to the X power in your power promises? Now, enjoy the continued pursuit to your potential. Let's go. I will see you on the inside.